have a fairy tale ending, and that's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be talking about do fairy tale relationships exist and i'm going to explain to you why they do not so before i get into this video please can i ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't press a like if you like the video and click the notification bell so you will always be alerted when i upload also i have mentioned before but i am in the process of creating an online course i want to be your life coach so if you're interested in hearing more and knowing about this course when it comes out please click the link below in my description box leave your email address and you'll be the first to know right let's get into the video so i want to read this quote to you guys you cannot live with expectations because life has no obligation to fulfill your desires you can live with an open heart but you cannot live with expectations so what is a fairy tale so we all grew up on these disney movies we grew up on cinderella we grew up on lady and the tramp and in these films they always paint a perfect picture there's a beautiful girl a beautiful guy they come together have a perfect life and they live happily ever after that's the fairy tale picture that we grew up listening to watching and observing and wanting for our lives because why it seemed perfect however realistic relationships happen something like this one imperfect guy meets another imperfect girl they get together based on common interests common desires and common life goals love grows within that relationship but it isn't without flaw they may have their fights but they always work it out and all three throughout life as they grow and as they change they change and evolve together they have children their children have children the children's children have children and then they die <laughs> And then they die okay that is more of a realistic story that we can live by okay life is not a fairy tale so relationships cannot be a fairy tale also nobody in this life is perfect and even if they're perfect for you they're not going to be perfect all of the time this is not a dress rehearsal this is not a movie this is our reality and i feel like we've secretly all been indoctrinated especially as women we have been indoctrinated by this fairy tale idea of love of relationships and of marriage we have internalized the narratives the plays the movies that tell us that our lives and how they work out or how they unravel in the end is actually based on the story so when you think your life is now a story you have to get into character and you may be able to relate let's say a girl goes on a date and you're being wined and dined and you're feeling yourself and you feel like yes i'm that girl but who is that girl that girl is the woman in the movie who always gets what she wants always gets the guy is always the best dress so you now looking all cute in your dress like you're sitting there you got your wine in your hand and you're playing that character it's not actually really you you're playing that character i think it's okay to have a little fun with that but some women go full character mode especially on first dates or just dating in general they send their representative to a date and they don't show up as their full self so when that relationship doesn't last you're disappointed and you're back to square one because you didn't show up as your real authentic self because subconsciously in your mind you're playing a character it's not your life you're play you're playing a character so the best advice that i can give anybody on a date is to literally be yourself but until you know who that self is make sure you drop your email address on the link below and sign up for me to be your life coach so that you can discover who you really are so it's not uncommon for us to subconsciously play characters in our day-to-day -day lives i'll use another example how many of us have been going through a breakup and we go to the bar when we look in the mirror and we're crying and we see our ugly faces <laughs> crying and we cry even more you kind of disassociate yourself at the moment and now you're looking at a person that isn't actually you but is a character i have another example for you let's say you're riding on the bus and you've got sad music in your earphones and you put your head on the window and you just <laughs> and you act like you're in the music video we all do it we all have elements of disassociating ourselves from our actual real lives but we are real people with real lives this is not a movie so i personally know girls who date as a character caricature of who they actually are they so badly in their minds want to be that girl in the movie that always gets the guy that gets spoiled with gifts and trips to paris so they want to be seen as someone that they are not which is why it's really really important to truly get comfortable with yourself and be yourself so i quickly want to talk about image gang and i want to talk about the truth of relationship goals because i personally i've been using twitter a lot lately follow me on twitter and i see a lot of things and i'm very 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 
very observant that's the only reason i'm able to deliver you guys this video because i just look at everything and i just examine everything i'm not easily deceived that's all i'll say but especially when i'm on twitter i will always see people retreat onto my timeline the pictures of the girl and the guy perfect couple the guy treats her for her birthday or valentine's day like a million balloons a million flowers gifts homemade bags chanel bags and the picture just looks so perfect and it's kind of setting a narrative of i'm the princess and this is my prince charming spoiling me giving me all of my heart's desires and a lot of you guys really 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 eat it up i see you guys in the replies oh my god this gives me hope for my relationship i will never settle for less like no where is my prince charming he doesn't exist <laughs> But the reason why we eat it up guys is because we are so used to this prince charming and his princess narrative because before time we used to see it in the movies we could probably see it in the magazines and now it's so close to us that we believe it's real because they're real people but you have to start to understand the difference between created content and curated content okay most of the time and i'm not being a hater i promise you guys a lot of people that want to get like the picture perfect shot they will think about the picture picture and not the reality of the situation right they want the look so they'll get everything looking pretty because they're thinking oh i'm gonna post this on twitter this is gonna get retweets this is gonna get likes they're thinking about the end product of the attention as opposed to the real reality of the matter basically they want it to be picture perfect not just to be perfect for the girl's sake but for the pictures okay and most of us most of us live for the gram we live for the retweets we live for the approval of others and i must admit when we see these photos they do look great there's no denying that this narrative that they're selling us looks attractive let's be clear it is very very attractive but you have to understand these are snapshots of one's lives and not the entirety of it in these couple goals relationship you do not see the day-to-day -day, minute to minute of their relationship you see the odd gifts that they choose to post because they know the attention that they're going to get from it you see the valentine's day you see the birthdays you see the christmas and stuff like that and can i just say just because a guy is spoiling you with gifts does not mean he loves you but that's for another video okay that's a completely another video because i just there's so much to talk about regarding that these same couples have arguments like everybody else these two couples that look picture perfect cannot stand each other from time to time this perfect couple or this prince charming gets on her nerves majority of <laughs> majority of the time this princess dreams of ending this relationship because there's something wrong but she cannot put her finger on it however to end this relationship would be detrimental to their business a lot of these social media couples are profiting off their relationships they will end the fairy tale for a lot of people because the reason why we get invested okay let's talk about this the reason why we get invested in social media relationships is because they wrote a story they wrote a narrative sold it to you guys you guys bought it so everything that they curate has to feed in to the narrative that they have created so you continue to believe it but what happens when that narrative in real life has now changed and they can't even act anymore they can't even hide it anymore that's why you see a lot of your faves breaking up and you say oh my god if their relationship can't last what about mine their relationship was never perfect to begin with their relationship just looked perfect okay and if you've been following me for a considerable amount of time you will understand when i always say what it looks like isn't always what it is i always tell you guys this not because i want to be a bearer of bad news not because i'm depressing not because i even envy anybody that shows this kind of life but because i want you guys to have a realistic view of life i operate in a social media world so i see everything a lot of you guys don't have the chance to see that so when i tell you guys these things you have to understand that it's for your benefit <laughs> i don't want you guys to be living a lie or living not based off truth and let's be clear i am not against couples sharing their life doing couple channels and stuff like that but i'm against them painting a picture of everything being roses and sunshines if you're gonna show the good you're gonna have to share the bad as well if he's getting on your nerves say in the video he's getting on my nerves say last week we had an argument we almost broke up be completely real with people stop faking it be real but people can't be real because they sold you a story and they have to play that character within the story otherwise the money will stop the fame will stop the attention will stop and so when you refuse as a youtube couple to show 
both sides of things what you're doing is you're setting you and your partner up on a pedestal that you can't even live up to and let's just be honest girls on social media that edit the shit out of their photos they cannot live up in real life to that image that they've portrayed that's why a lot of them are really depressed in real life because they're not even who they are you cannot live a life that is disassociated with who you actually are and be happy you cannot in psychology they call it cognitive dissonance i think that's what it's called if not i'll check it i'll put it there but you cannot live a life that's not true period and that's why i like couples not to pick out anybody or not to shame anybody but i really love couples like mike and patricia we all know they're together we all know they're married we all know that they're in love but they don't shove this narrative down your throat you just see them living out their real life there'll be times when like <laughs> patricia's like oh go away kind of thing and it's just normal just be normal you don't have to prove anything to anybody and those who aren't showing their relationship 24 7 are probably the happiest so don't get that twisted just because someone's constantly showing their relationship does not mean that they are happy like some couples are really trying to force a narrative down your throat of perfection and it's kind of creepy but what's even more creepy is some of you guys who eat that shit up like pumpkin pie <laughs> I've never tasted pumpkin can pie in my life. I'm just saying. But you guys eat that up. And now in your real life, if a guy you've just met asks you out for coffee because he doesn't know you yet and wants to get to know you, you'll be feeling disgusted because Jessica on Instagram, her man took her to Nobu for their first date. Who do you think I am? Ladies, and I want to be very, very, very clear. And I want to clear up everything, okay? There's a difference between being a queen and being a princess. A queen has earned her right to her position and contrary to popular belief she has just as equal value as the king does a queen is not trying to be a queen a queen just is a princess on the other hand has an entitlement problem she thinks everything should just be given to her a princess feels entitled to everything without giving anything in return a princess wants to be spoilt whereas a queen wants to be respected a princess wants to suck the living daylights out of her man whereas a queen wants to edify she wants to support her man which one are you are you the little princess or are you the queen all i'm saying is if we're gonna play characters can we please play the queen instead the queen is equal to her man whereas the princess is always looking for a come up what she can get out of this guy she wants to be a sugar baby and she needs a sponsor not a man a sponsor and i have to say this because i know you guys hear me preaches on my channel and i never want you guys to get confused like when i tell you guys that you got the prize there's a difference between having standards and thinking that men owe you something nobody owes anybody anything period but if you're worth it your man will give you everything you need not want need without you having to ask him for anything i always hear guys say the girls that i want to give everything to are the ones that don't expect it the ones that don't demand it and when i was single and i used to hear my sister's husband say that about my sister i was thinking like oops <laughs> I'll be acting like I need that shit. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll be acting a bit entitled still. That's probably why I don't be getting anything. <laughs> but yeah, the hottest girls are the ones that act like they don't need anything. Like they, they, they good by themselves. But they're still open to that man's presence, you know? At the end of the day, value recognizes value. And value does not beg to be recognized. And the reason why we have so many expectations on relationships on the opposite sex is because we want that person to do all these things that we expect because our expectations are linked to our happiness but nobody can make you happy that is your responsibility the thing about expectations is that if they're not fulfilled they'll make you crazy because they're triggering that selfish desire within yourself that says gimme 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 you expect your man to read your mind without you communicating anything you expect your man to drop everything that he's doing and come and hang out with you and your girlfriend you expect your man not to say the wrong thing at the wrong time time at all you expect your man to meet every emotional need every desire every want everything that you want you want your man to give it to you this is an expectation this is princess princess performance <laughs> and the truth of the matter is there's no such thing as and they live happily ever after that's what they say in the movies that's not what happens in real life there is no happy ending unless you both actively 
work on it and i never want to get to a point where i start behaving like just because i met the one that everything magically is going to be perfect just because you're with the right person does not mean you don't have to do any work good relationships don't just happen they are built very carefully and very intentionally so every time me and my partner have a disagreement it takes a lot of strength to humble myself go to him apologize and ask him how i can do better and actively take steps to actually doing better not just apologizing and doing the same thing again but actually being conscious the next time you're in a similar situation to act differently and the reason why relationships are hard is because it's hard work to be humble we are naturally inclined to want our own way to do things the way that we want them to be done relationships are hard because people are hard work and the reality is relationships are not for fairy tale believers they are for people that are realists that understand for better for worse for richer for poorer poorer doesn't sound like a fairy tale Mm-mm. you gotta be rich all the time doesn't sound too fairy tale now does it for sickness and health sickness i ain't sign up for that <laughs> and that's the issue when people get married they stand before god and stand before their friends and family and they say their vows and vows are probably the biggest commitment you will ever make in your entire life the biggest contract you'll ever sign in your life is called marriage and you literally have to sign that contract in blood your blood (laughs) because it is till death do us part which means nothing should separate this marriage and i feel like a lot of people do not value marriage because they do not value vows they don't even respect the words that they say most people stand on the aisle and they lie they lie 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 they lie they're like i'll always love you i'll always protect you i'll always be nice to you lies because the next day when he pisses you off you like Ugh, what did i do i made a mistake chow yeah you didn't make a mistake <laughs> you you married a human being and not a character from a movie but the problem is nowadays it's not till death do us part it's till the love runs out oh i fell out of love with her oh i fell out of love with him you do not fall out of love because love is a commitment what happens is you just stop doing the thing that you vowed to do you stop communicating you stop saying i'm sorry you stop being kind to one another you stop humbling yourself you stop putting another person before yourself and now you put yourself before the other person you start to compare your marriage to somebody else's or Susie's or sally's and you start to think that the grass is greener on the other side the grass sweetie is not greener on the other side it is green where you water it now 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 on the flip side do not get me wrong there's absolutely reasons to divorce somebody abuse multiple cheating disrespect all that kind of stuff there are definitely grounds for divorce and that's the reason why a lot of people will stay in a marriage like that because they want their happy ending they want their happy ever after they want their perfect family they want to play happy families even though they aren't happy but the truth is trying to save a fundamentally flawed relationship for the sake of the kids is basically like trying to re-glue your hair back to your scalp after it's literally falling out you're not fooling anybody let it go the fairy tale is dead because it never existed in the first place so am i saying that you cannot have your your own version of prince charming am i saying that you cannot have a happy relationship a happy marriage no but we do have to be realistic about relationships sometimes it's sunny for five months straight and it is beautiful not a cloud in the sky but maybe the next one or two months it is raining non-stop that is called seasons that is called england <laughs> i'm not gonna up and leave this country because it's raining i'm going to stay because i know that the sun's gonna come out that's called hope that's called faith that's called faith in your relationship and so in closing i want you guys that are single to know this a relationship a man is not a reward it is not a measure to show in life that you have arrived or that you've made it having a best friend that loves you more than anybody else that you get to spend time with that you get to spend your life with is beautiful but it's not without its down days no matter how perfect someone seems to you they have their flaws like you none of us are flawless and for those those who are in relationships i would like to encourage you in this way stop focusing on what your relationship is not and start accepting that relationship for what it is keep your mind focused on your own grass the grass is not greener on the other side it is greener where you water it comparison is the thief of your 
own joy. Stop comparing your relationship to anybody else's. It is unique. It is different because you're unique and he's unique. You both unique and your relationship is different. There's no two identical relationships in this world, period. Do not believe the lies that you see on social media. Nobody is that happy and that's okay. We need dark days to really appreciate the light days. And just because you are on chapter 14 and chapter 14 is a dark day does not mean the sun will not come out in chapter 15. The real test of character is how you power through the dark days, how you power through the light days and the person that you become in the process of it all. And that person will be precious and that person will be beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know one of the key takeaways that you have taken away from this video. Write it in the comments below. Don't forget to click the link in my description box, enter your email address and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.